Hi everyone, today is Friday, February 17th, 2017, and they've come out with this news story about Tony Blair. Now, for those who don't know, Tony Blair used to be the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and Britain. And he's saying that Britain should rise up against Brexit. Now, why would Britain want to rise up against Brexit when most of Britain voted Brexit? I'm not sure. <clears throat> like maybe, well, Tony suggests that people were misinformed. That may be the case. Some people may have been misinformed, but I definitely wasn't because I was confident in my vote to leave. But, um,. Remember, this is the same guy who instigated the Iraq War. He said yes to the Iraq War. Now, there are good sides and bad sides to the Iraq War. Bad things include innocent people dying. Good things include getting rid of Saddam Hussein and not allowing other countries to walk all over us. And we had to intervene because we couldn't allow the Iraqi people to... To keep being treated like that. So obviously rise rising up usually leads to violence. And that's what these po politicians want. They want more violence. That's what the Illuminati and Freemasons want. They want more violence. Tony Blair wants violence. And it links all the way back to Revelation 18 of the Bible. Where it says, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and should be found no more at all. Even, even if we scroll down here. See, hope starts here. And it says, compassion in Jesus' name. So, hope. Remember, a rebellion built on hope. And hope in Jessica Jones. She sacrificed her life so that Jessica and her friends could have hope. She represents the heavenly woman of Revelation 12, just like Jessica does. And just like Marilyn Monroe does. Notice how Marilyn has blonde hair, just like Hope. Even see that this was Marilyn Monroe pregnant, and if she was, then that represents this. See this heavenly woman of Revelation twelve pregnant, stood on this moon. So basically, right. It says that Marilyn died in 1962. That was one year, <clears throat> uh, roughly, not exactly, um, before uh, JFK died in 1963. So there may, there may be something in that, I'm not entirely sure. But it says she, she was one of the most popular sex symbols in the 1950s. The 1950s represents the fifth age of the Bible coming. With martial law and Satan and demons and such. Maybe even aliens are involved, who knows. See this, the fifth trumpet. And, and the fifth angel sounded. Fifth angel is Satan. So, yeah, I mean, fear is stupid. That's one of Marilyn's quotes. Just like that project fear thing. And fear is the path to the dark side. See, madness is genius. 
see Illuminati, mutual assured distraction, MAD, mad. <clears throat> and this guy is the fifth angel, Satan. See the five? <clears throat> and he brings this idol worship of this golden calf right here. Um, but remember how golden hair is similar to blonde hair. It's, it's sort of the same thing in a, in a way. Like, see, she even married a guy in 1956. The 50 for the fifth age. Coming. Another guy in 1954, see? To 1955. See, I'm absolutely ridiculous. I'm not boring. So, look at this as well. Even some, some people's making up shit that Mark Hamill has died, even though he hasn't. And that, that actually represents when when uh, Jesus died on the cross, because Mark Hamill represents Jesus, just like Luke Skywalker does, because he, he plays Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, obviously. So, Tony Blair wanted Britain to rise up, just like all of these people on, the, on these Economist covers are rising up. Obama's still rising up, even though he's not even president any anymore. And he's rising up with Richard Branson. <clears throat> see, I mentioned aliens. See the UFO right there. And then the Pope is on top, because he, he's like the leader of them. Or, or, he, or, he, or he's going to be, at least. <clears throat> and this is the Hope Marilyn Monroe character here. So just know this, know what all of this means, this symbolism, over and over again. It's everywhere on your TV shows and your films. <clears throat> I'm going to see the Great War movie tonight. There will definitely be symbolism in that, because there's symbolism in everything. Because God just put symbolism everywhere on purpose. God have mercy on us all. So, remember, Marilyn Monroe and Hope represent this woman here. This woman. And the dragon, Satan, and the fifth angel were one in the same thing. So, See this right here, Wonder in Heaven, just like Wonder Woman, because Wonder Woman and Gal Gadot represent her. Even uh, the person who played the original Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, <coughs> represents her as well. <coughs> like, even if we go back to Revelation 18 again, Weeping, just like Weeping Angels in Doctor Who. Scarlet, just like Scarlet Witch out of the Avengers. <clears throat> There's the gold for the Golden Age. And what else have we got? Harpers, musicians, pipers, trumpeters. There's the piper there. And you like trumpeters, just like you have Donald Trump. <clears throat> and then um, 
What else have we got? Avenged, just like just like the Avengers. There's the V for the fifth age. This bridegroom's got to do with the wedding feast of the Lamb, so Jesus's wedding, basically. And because Jesus is the bridegroom, and then talks of his bride as well. And then all the nations were deceived. Meaning all, all of these nations, all, all of the different nations that are represented by these people. Well, they were. Because now obviously it's Trump instead of Obama. And it's Theresa May instead of David Cameron. But, <clears throat> you know what I mean, anyway. So, <clears throat> um, this story of Mark Hamill dying, this is fake news. And the Crocs to one always goes on about fake news. Well, he has done lately. 